Well, you know what they say. It's a new day, a new opportunity. It's spring now, officially, and that means I'm pretty amped. There it is, my workstation. I never said it was glorious. There's a process to this. I go through the usual motions in my mornings, and this is one of them. I go to work and try and get everything I need to get done before noon. I'll then relocate to a cafe around town to think, to study, or just relax. It's a system that works, an important one. But let's rewind a bit. Hey, this is world class deli. So, well, it wasn't. It was average. But that's not the important part. I surround myself with only the smartest and most passionate people. Yeah, I passed it. You said it was really good. Damn. All right. This also means that sometimes they go on rants. It's only fair if I record it. I've been on a mission to do, like, all the things in life that I was scared of, and vlogging is one of those things. Because it's just one of those things that's like, I don't know, you see people do it and you're like, oh, that must be so easy. But inside, I'm just mortified of holding a camera in public and talking to it. So, you know, I could be in France and just sit in front, like, sit in front of the Louvre and say, hey, you know, kids, wait for Robert. 10 minutes, <laughs> have to make a quick call, yeah. taking care of work. So, because life is about living and experience. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way that you get better with understanding what's even available to you. Because what's the difference in having an option and not knowing about it and not having that option at all? Right, so you're saying that it doesn't matter if you have the option to work remote, if you don't do it, it's <laughs> useless. Exactly. Yeah. And honestly, like, I just feel like when you experience life and you're happy, then you'll want to do more things that make you happy. Work will make you happier, so you'll want to participate in it. Yeah, true. Like when work is stressful, people hate getting up in the mornings, they hate going to work, they're like, I will do the bare minimum, which leads to decreased productivity. So for me, I know that in order to get the most productivity out of myself, I have to enjoy Be what happy. I do. Yeah. It's true though, because like four hours of good work and then the rest of the day doing something that you enjoy, those four hours of work are gonna be worth a hell of a lot more than eight hours of work. Exactly. And nothing you enjoy, like, invariably. Which is kind of what I wanna build. And like, if you want to work four hours in a coffee shop early in the morning and spend the rest of the day in the mountains, you should do that. Yeah, because you're going to be more productive because you know, have a very set amount of time, you have to be productive during this time, because otherwise I'm going to be gone. Right. And, and honestly, you're, you have your work, you work, you teach, you do the best job you can, but you're also developing you as a person. Right. Oh, this one. Oh, it's the next one. Sorry. Um, but yeah, it, it just comes down to your personal development. You can't have your work development and that part of who you are outpace your personal development. That's how you maintain balance. Right. And so much of life is just that. That's why I think it's so important. So you're saying it's not all hustle. Oh, That's definitely. what we talked about earlier. <laughs> it's really not. I mean, it comes how, how they, the old adage of work smarter, not harder. Right. That's what it is. Hustling is about working hard. If you're not working hard, you're not gonna be productive anyways. But if you're already working hard, working harder, this can be diminishing return. So find a way to do it smarter. Yeah. After Cordero and I justified working less, it was time to head to a new cafe. I've been eyeing Rafa, a low-key cycling outfit on First Hill with a cafe inside.
Oh, and one more thing. Coffee at Rafa is perhaps not the best idea. One, I'm caffeinated in the afternoon, which is a recipe for disaster. Two, you can't just stick a bike like that in front of me and expect me to do work. It's not gonna happen.